please subscribe, like and watch. Thank you. Hello and welcome back. This problem 7.98 is from chapter number 7 and the book name is Mechanics of Material by Bear and Johnson. So in this problem it is given that a spherical pressure vessel has an out di outer diameter of 3 meter and wall thickness of 12 millimeter. Knowing that the steel used allowable stress is 80 megapascal, E is equal to 200 gigapascal and Poisson ratio nu is equal to 0 0.29. Determine the allowable gauge pressure and corresponding increase in diameter of vessel. So we will start from the given data. In given data we have spherical pressure vessel. So I will write it. Always remember that try to write the available data that is mentioned in the question. So spherical pressure vessel and the outer diameter of 3 millimeter. So its outer diameter D naught is equal to 3 meter clear and the wall thickness of 12 millimeter. Thickness of wall is 12 millimeter and in meter it will be equal to 0 0.012 meter. Knowing that for steel used allowable stress is given so sigma allowable is 80 megapascal so 80 megapascal will be 18 to 10 to power 6 pascal and e is also given as 200 gigapascal so 200 into 10 to power 9 pascal also the poisson ratio is given as 0 0.29 clear what we have to find is the first part is allowable gauge pressure. So allowable gauge pressure which is equal to P. We have to find this and in B part it is given that the corresponding increase in diameter of vessel. So increase in diameter of vessel which is equal to change in diameter delta d clear so this was our uh, given uh, data so we will start from the solution so as we know that it is given that spherical pressure vessel so for spherical pressure vessel you know that hoop stress which is sigma 1 is equal to sigma 2 and that is equal to p into r for p into r divided by 2t. This is for spherical pressure vessel this sigma 1 is equal to sigma 2 and that is equal to PR divided by 2T. Now we know we do not know R so far. R we will have 1 over 2 into D outer minus T. For example, this is the cross sectional area of this pressure vessel. So this is outer diameter which is equal to D naught. Clear? So half of it is radius clear which is outer radius minus this is the thickness this is the thickness so for inner radius this inner radius r will be equal to half of d naught minus t so you have d naught value and you have t you can put it in the formula so 1 over 2 d naught is 3 meter minus t is 0 0.012 meter so you will get R which is inner radius and this R will be equal to 1.488 meter. Now we will uh, uh, go back and uh, also in our question it is given that allowable stress is equal to 80 megapascal so 80 into 10 to the power 6 by allowable stress means that our stress should not exceed 80 megapascal so therefore your sigma 1 is equal to sigma 2 must be equal to 80 megapascal 
and if you want to make it further safer, safer you can get sigma 1 and sigma 2 less than 80 megapascal but here it is given that working or allowable is 80 so this is a clear value so we are taking it equal to 80 megapascal so when you put it in this formula sigma 1 is equal to sigma 2 is equal to p into r divided by 2t clear so p is not known so p will be over there r is 1.488 meter we multiply divide by 2 into thickness is 0 0.01 to 0 0.012 okay now uh, we are interested in finding out the pressure gauge pressure so this p will be equal to P into R divided by 2T will be again equal to any one which is equal to 80 mega Pascal. So for finding this P, so P will be equal to 2 multiply by T multiply by 80 into 10 raised to power 6 divided by R and R is 1.488. You have to put the value of t so t is 0 0.012 and 80 into 10 to power 6 divided by 1.488 when you solve this you will get 1.290 into 10 to power 6 pascal or the gauge pressure is, will be equal to 1.290 mega Pascal. So this is the answer of our first part. Now we will move toward the second part and in second part we have been asked to find the change in the uh, increase in diameter. So that delta D. How you will find the delta D? So from our previous knowledge from our knowledge about stress and strain we know that this strain is equal to change in diameter divided by original diameter which is equal to d naught and we have also studied in our stress strain chapter that for bidirectional roading for bidirectional loading we have strain which is six uh, epsilon one is equal to one over e into sigma one minus nu time sigma two so in this uh, formula we do not know strain we have d naught we do not have delta D which we are going to find. So only thing will strain and strain can be find by using this formula. Now you have 1 over E here sigma 1 sigma 1 is equal to sigma 2 clear. So you can replace it sigma 1 minus nu times sigma 1 and if you take sigma 1 is common so we will have only 1 minus nu times sigma 1 now put the value e is given which is which was 200 into 10 raised to power 9 pascal clear into 1 minus nu nu is 0 0.29 and this sigma 1 was 18 into 10 raised to power 6 this is equal to strain so strain 1 when you calculate it you will get the value of 284 into 10 raised to power minus 6 this is a dimensionless quantity having no unit now you have strain you can put it in the formula so this will become equal to epsilon 1 is equal to delta d over d naught again delta we are interested to find out the change in diameter so it will be equal to strain 1 into d naught 
now you have both the values strain 1 which is 284 into 10 raised to power minus 6 and d naught which was original diameter which is 3 meter so when you multiply it you will get change in diameter which is 852 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter or in term of millimeter this change in diameter will be equal to 0 0.852 millimeter so this is the change in diameter that we will see in uh, our uh, spherical tank i hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, with this you have also learned as well thank you for watching and supporting me